So I'm going to show you guys how to edit in the 3D editor, and you can also do this co-op. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, my arm just opened. So what you're going to need to do for starters is you need to get your mod list. Uh, I'm using the United Operations mod set here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add all of the mods from your mod set, whatever you're using, and then add Mission Control Center Sandbox 4 to it. Uh, once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and click this little button here if it says Diagnose and hit Play without updating. Uh, now that will launch your game without updating anything else. Uh, that doesn't need to be updated past whatever your mod set is working with. So, once we're in our game, you're going to go ahead and go to the editor, obviously. Uh, pick whatever map you want in your mod set. I'm going to use Chernarus for this one. Keep in mind that using MCC does not conflict with any other mods. Uh, it doesn't need to be running once you create the mission and for people to play it. Uh, MCC has no incompatibilities whatsoever. It's just a means to an end, essentially. So, once you're in to your editor here, you're going to want to go ahead and make a mission folder. So we're going to click Save As here. We're going to name MCC underscore 3D underscore editor underscore test. So here it is. Uh, the reason you use underscores is because spaces make percents. So go ahead and click OK. And now you have a mission folder. So you go ahead and open up your documents here. Documents, Armor 3 Other Profiles, Your Profile, Missions, and it should be right here. 3D Editor Test. All right. So keep this open in the background, but we're going to make some stuff now. If you're doing this alone, it's super straightforward. You go ahead and open up this, make this guy your player, and click OK, and you're done. Uh, you hit preview. Alright, ignore that little uh, curator on whatever the fuck error thing that's uh, irrelevant. Uh, but now that I'm in, I can scroll and hit MCC, click log in, and I can close. And now I have Zeus powers, so if I hit Y, it'll open up the Zeus menu. I don't know why it closed. Hit Y. And there we go. Zeus menu, good to go. This is for if you're making a mission alone. Uh, so I could go ahead. If you're doing this alone, ignore this next part, but for everything else, it'll be the same process as what I'm about to show you guys now. That's how you do it alone. You don't need to do anything fancy if you're making it alone, and you'll just insert the steps after uh, what I'm about to explain. So I'm about to explain how to do co-op. So you'll skip this if you're going to do alone, but if you want to make this with somebody in multiplayer, like another person, uh, at the same time in the same game, uh, this is what you do. So you make your guy named P1, make another guy named P2. So however many people you want to edit this mission, just keep adding more people. P1, P2, P3, P4, and so on. Go ahead and go to modules and make a new module. Zeus, Game Master. Make sure default add-ons is all including unofficial ones if you're using mods. It's really important. Owner is P1. Make another one. Owner P2. Ungroup these. I'm just going to ungroup these guys just so there's no problems. And you're done with that. So you click Save here. Save as. Export to multiplayer missions. Click OK. Now that they're both saved in locally, so like I said, locally, user mission, save as that. Save as. Export to multiplayer. You want both of those. You exit the editor. Go to multiplayer. Hit new. Uh, the port can be whatever, but make sure that port is open. You make a password on internet. Make sure it's internet, not LAN. Internet. Click OK. Go to your map and look for the mission. 3D editor test. OK. And then there's these two. You disable AI so there's no AI that spawns. Pick your slot. Go ahead and come in. All right. So now we have no briefing, no nothing at all. Virtual ammo box will go away. Don't worry about that continue and now we're in the multiplayer mission go ahead and press Y and enter Zeus and you can Zeus uh, anybody that slots into the slot can Zeus uh, doesn't matter who and then once you're done so log in 
you add some shit. So let's say I want a little FOB here. This is a mod, by the way. This is the Ares Zeus mod. Uh, we'll add a little medium OP tower base. There. Let's say that's all you wanted, but you can add as much shit as you want. So OP tower, OP tower. All that's there. Go ahead and exit out of Zeus. Go to MCC. Now this is the part where you would it picks back up if you were just doing this solo. Uh, so this applies for both. Go ahead and hit save and load right here and save all SQM. Click that. If a mes message pops up, there you go. Uh, if you heard the little click noise there and it doesn't pop up, just wait. The more you spam it, the longer it'll take. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but that time, fortunately, it was quick. So now that that's done, don't exit out of this yet. Just hit escape and do not close it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your SQM right here. Edit with notepad. Control A, Control V. File, save. Now, what that just did is it replaced the original SQM with this inside of this mission's SQM. So all of these are now saved in your mission. You can go ahead and exit now. Go back into your editor, load the 3D editor test, and there should be all the stuff that was there. Now, I've noticed with this, I don't know what these are, FX, wind, pollen, leaves, what, leaves, whatever. Like, I don't know why these pop up. Uh, they're just little effects that are randomly generated by the map. And when I saved the SQM, it saved them too. But that only happens around the people. So you just delete those if you want. You can get rid of the Zeus guy if you want. And then in the bottom left corner of the map, there will be all kinds of shit. You don't need any of those. You can, you can delete all of those, like, immediately. And now you have all the stuff you placed in the 3D editor, and that's it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I can go ahead and preview it and look at all the stuff, and it's uh, it's all there. Uh, like I said, you do not need MCC to be running in the background uh, during the mission. And if you do this over multiple sessions, as you can see now that I'm in Zeus, I can't control the pick up the stuff. This is where the Ares mod really comes in, in handy. Uh, you go to Util here, add objects to Zeus adds everything and now I can edit it all again. This is where the Ares mod comes in handy but some mod packs might not have that and if you don't then that kinda sucks. So a little uh, tip here that I'm gonna insert if you have your framework make sure to turn the time limit off while you're editing the mission. Um, this is for all the mission makers that already pretty much have some experience here. A little side note if you have a time limit in your framework and then you come in here and you start editing the mission in multiplayer with your friend Make sure that's turned off because it will fire after the, the the amount of time and it will end the mission and if you didn't save your progress it will be gone. So just make sure that nothing, make sure you don't spawn anything that will crash your game, make sure your time limit's off, all that stuff. I just recommend not even inserting the framework until you have your mission laid out. But that's totally up to you. Just make sure your timer's off and nothing ends the mission because if my game, like let's say if I add this guy here and I want him to be there and my game crashes right now or the timer fires, essentially what that's doing is that's taking this, hitting save and exit, and now he's not there. That's essentially what it's doing. So just make sure that you have the SQM copied and make sure nothing's going to end it because when you go into multiplayer, it's not just an editor preview, your framework is working and it will end your mission on you. That's just a little side note. But other than that, it's pretty simple stuff.